I enjoy using Anchor podcasting services. For one, it's an easy setup. Secondly, you can do everything on the same platform, which includes record and then add music to your podcast if you like. And once your podcast has been saved, you can then distribute it to other platforms with the click of a button. And did I mention that it's free? You couldn't ask for anything better than this. Bring in the heat listeners. You can visit my website at www.reginaweston.com. And while you are there, you can find all books written by Regina Weston. Girl Talk, The Art of Love, Betrayal, and Gold Digging 101. Why Couldn't You Love Me Too deals with topics such as teen pregnancy, divorce, gang violence, rape, drug use, child abuse, and domestic violence. Words from the Heart is a collection of poems that deal with love, spirituality, and relationships. Thank you for your love and your support. Dating is like pushing your tray along in a cafeteria. Nothing looks good, but you know you have to pick something by the time you reach the cashier. A quote by Caprice Crane. Now let's get into it. Thank you for tuning in to Bringing the Heat with Regina Weston. Here we inspire and deal with topics that matter. Stay tuned. Now y'all already know what time it is. Story time! Back down memory lane. I want to talk about the time when I got divorced and my brother wanted me to get back on the horse. He wanted me to get back into dating. And he was like, Regina, why don't you join blackpeoplemeet.com? I was like, are you crazy, boy? I am not getting on no internet, meeting up with no cuckoo birds. He's like, Regina, everybody that's online is not crazy. I said, well, I am not spending my money to meet no guy online. So he hit me with, I'll pay for it. (laughs) So I was like, okay. I think it was like $25 for a month. Not sure because it's been a long time. So we set up the account and, you know, if you know me, you know that I'm kind of conservative. But to be online for men, you need to show them some eye-catching stuff. So I wasn't going to show you my breasts. I wasn't going to show you my buttocks. So just look at me as conservative plain Jane. So I had my nice professional picture up there and I got a couple of hits. You know, with the online dating thing, it's different levels to that that you have to pay for. So maybe the first level is that you just get the wink. But if you pay a little bit more, you get to be able to have conversations with that individual. Now, mind you, I wasn't giving nobody my phone number. So I would just do the wink back and forth. But I wind up seeing somebody that was my type. And I was like, hmm, he looked like he could be somebody that I can get into. So we started sending little messages and we began to have phone conversations. This is the tricky part, which is why if I date someone, I would like it to be like, Regina, I have a friend and I think he will be good for you. That type of scenario, not Regina. I'm going to make an online account for you and we're going to put a couple of names in the baskets with a couple of nice pictures and then we're going to shake it up and you put your hand in there and whatever you grab out of the hat, girl, try it. Because that's what online dating is to me. It's a grab bag. You don't know what you about to choose out of the bag of tricks. Okay. So talking to the guy, you know, my suspicions and my antennas already went up by conversation three. You know why? Because he was like, oh, 
I'm doing something right now. I'll call you back. Or when he was calling me, he was whispering. Okay, bro. If you are single, if you are in the world searching for a significant other, why are you whispering, bro? Only people I know that whisper are people that that are in a relationship and they trying to sneak a conversation while their significant other is cooking in the bathroom or somewhere in the household. Okay. We get to the conversation where he wants to meet me in public. So I was like, okay, I'm willing to meet you, but it has to be in a public place with a lot of people. You know what this joker said to me? He was like, no, I don't want to meet you in the public. I want to like bring you to my house. I said, Go, what? You see, you see how I almost spoke in tongues there? Man. You must be thinking you talking to Boo Boo the Clown. I am not her daughter. Okay? I am not going to your house. I don't know you from what? My favorite line. A can of paint. I'm not a painter. I couldn't tell you what's pure white, what's off-white, what's glossy white without asking somebody at Lowe's, what is this? So do you think after I just picked you out of a hat, that I'm going to be crazy enough to go to your house. No, sir. So I said, let's meet at my favorite spot, Barnes and Nobles. Why? Because I'm a reader. And for those that didn't know, I'm an author. Go check out my website at www.reginaweston.com. Pick up my book. Okay, just a little plug. Now let's get back to the story. Do you know what this joker tells me? He cannot meet me in a public place. Have y'all seen that movie, Born Identity? Where the man don't know who he is because he got knocked upside the head and thrown over a boat. So now he's on this secret mission to find himself and who he is. Okay, think of that as I continue on with this story. So he starts to tell me how he got to be very careful how he moves in the street because he's in the service and he's involved in secret missions. I know y'all like, wow. Yeah. Cause I was like, wow. When he was telling me this fabricated story, I'm sitting on the other end. Like, do this man really think that I am going to fall for somebody's screenplay? <laughs> because <laughs> you know he didn't make it up himself he saw something on tv and he was like you know what i know that there are some really desperate women that will fall for this story let me see if this chick is one of them that's what he thought he had to think that i was like listen i don't mean no harm about your covert missions but if you are on covert missions and my life can be in danger as well as your life being in danger, guess what? You already lost me because I am not willing to die to be in a relationship. So please keep it moving. I never spoke to him again. Now that leads me into this. I see a lot of people who have, have testimonies about dating people online. I'm not going to knock it because... There are some guys out there that are genuinely looking for a mate. But then you have these other clowns that's looking for a booty call. Those are the ones that I am shining the spotlight on. Girls, be careful. Do not fall for the okie doke. Some men come with a lot of baggage, a lot of game. You have to. To be careful. If you watch the news or you read the news, you can witness for yourself how many women have lost their lives. Women and men have lost their lives meeting these cuckoo birds online. Just be careful. Everything is not always as it seems. People play games with people's lives. You have people that are intentional. They have set up traps 
and they want to hurt you. Be careful about online dating. You don't know who you are meeting. You don't know their mental state. You don't know if you say something that they have triggers and you might laugh at them or you might look at them a certain way. And girl, the next thing you being choked out because people are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Not everybody, but hey, yes, a lot of them. So I hope you have enjoyed Back Down Memory Lane. I have a lot of them for you guys because trust me, I have lived and I have learned. And the objective is for me to say something to amuse you and to enlighten you. If you are single, ask one of your friends, yo, do you have a nice young man that's looking for a nice young woman? And you think that we are compatible and maybe we can get together? At least then they have a general summary about that person. They have heard stories about that individual. They have witnessed that individual's behavior. So you don't be getting hooked up with nobody who is telling you they work for the Secret Service. If you work for the Secret Service, especially covert missions, you would not be advertising that online. You know, it's funny about liars. They believe their own hype. So just be careful. I want you to be loved. I want love to find you, but I want it to be healthy love with a nice strong man, a nice godly man, one that would love you like Christ loved the church. Hallelujah. That's the type of love that I want for you, young lady. You know why? Because that's the type of love you deserve. Avoid that crazy love. When you see the signs of crazy love, whether it be in person or online, run. At the very sight of it, like I did, it might spare your life. Bring in the heat, listeners. If you would like to support this podcast, you can do so through Cash App at dollar sign R Weston 252. That's dollar sign R W E S T O N 252 under the name Regina Redmond. I would like to thank you for your love and your support. Thank you, Bringing the Heat listeners. To listen to this podcast, go to anchorfm.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Play, where we bring the heat.